Persona 3 Reload has been out for a week, and we have even more news regarding tons more remakes and future Persona games that are said to be in development. If you are even the slightest fan of the Persona series, you're not gonna wanna miss this one. While not Persona related, definitely check out the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth demo over on the PS5, as the hype for the second chapter in Final Fantasy VII's remake saga is definitely ratcheting up following its recent state of play. And if you are interested in getting the digital deluxe edition of the game for free, definitely consider checking out my giveaway of the game linked in the description. Now, on to the Persona news. We have a lot to go over in this update, but before we get into the future Persona games, it's worth pointing out that Persona 3 Reload has enjoyed the most successful launch of any Persona game ever made. Heck, every Atlas game ever made. Selling over 1 million units in its first week, Persona 3 Reload has enjoyed more success in its first week over the likes of Persona 5 and its spin-offs, other Persona titles, plus the rest of the Shin Megami Tensei series. What makes it even more of an accomplishment is that Persona 3 Reload managed to sell over a million units in its first week despite it being available on Xbox Game Pass. Sega, Atlas's parent company, has been killing it in 2024, with Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth also achieving a million copies sold within a week of that game's launch, becoming the fastest selling game in the Yakuza series. Now, you may say, come on man, a million units sold in one week isn't that great for a game like this, but considering the recent popularity of the Persona series in the West and that these sales milestones have been shattering records for Atlas, this is nothing but a good sign. A sign that we will, indeed, be seeing more efforts by Atlas to continue fostering the growth of the Persona series, of which a number of remakes are said to be in development, which we will touch up on. While Persona 3 Reload continues to enjoy its critical and commercial success, there are many fans that have lamented that key features from Persona 3 Fess and Persona 3 Portable are outright missing. With reports from the previous video I did mentioning that Persona 3 FES's The Answer Mode will be releasing as DLC in the future, it still comes to show that a sizable part of the Persona 3 fandom are unhappy that Atlas currently has no plans of featuring Persona 3 Portable's female protagonist protagonist in Persona 3 Reload. We went into all that stuff in great detail in my previous video, of which is linked in the description and at the end of this video if you'd like a refresher of the downloadable content we are likely to see hit the game over the coming months. Since then, we have gotten even more updates regarding more Persona games in development, including even more Persona remakes. It seems that the video game franchises, including Persona, are capitalizing on what many are currently defining this era, the nostalgia era, by remaking classic games from well-known and well-received franchises. From recent Persona updates, we know that there are numerous games reportedly in development, notably Persona 6, Persona 5 The Phantom X, and a possible Persona party game that may have been scrapped in Persona ASA. But this week, we got some more information pertaining to a number of Persona games that are currently being worked on over at Atlas. The following information comes from Midori over on Twitter, who has a flawless track record of accurately reporting information pertaining to the Persona series and other JRPG games. So even though Midori is a reputable source, take the following with a grain of salt, seeing as none of this has been confirmed by Atlas since it may be a number of years until we see these games hit the market. Just a few days ago, Midori confirmed the existence of both a Persona 1 and a Persona 2 remake over on Twitter, plus stating that Persona 4 is also slated for a remake. In the thread regarding any rumors or leaks about a Persona 4 and Persona 2 remake, Midori seemingly announced that both projects exist at Atlas, launching speculation and excitement through thousands of Persona fans across the internet. Midori later went on to announce that Persona 1 was indeed getting the remake or remastered treatment, while mentioning that not all three games, being Persona 1, Persona 2, and Persona 4, are getting the remake-style treatment in line like Persona 3 Reload. Another prominent Persona insider and leaker over on Reset Era, known as Head on the Block, also known as I'm a Hero 2, further states in a message board surrounding these newly addressed Persona remakes that Persona 2 is not a remake, but rather a remaster master of both games, with a new translation being the selling point, indicating that the games will be available on every system, including the Switch 2 and next-gen consoles. 
If true, don't expect Persona 2 to be coming out anytime soon. For those of you confused as to why Head on the Block refers to Persona 2 as being games and not a singular game, well, that's because Persona 2 indeed has two games. Persona 2 Innocent Sin released in 1999 and was originally Japanese only before seeing a worldwide release later, and Persona 2 Eternal Punishment released in 2000 and was only released in Japan in North America. It is worth mentioning that in 2011, Persona 2 Innocent Sin did get a remake that was released on the PSP, but the game was widely received as a less than stellar Persona game and is known for being the worst rated entry in the franchise. With Persona 2 representing a duology and with systems and mechanics very different from what we've seen from Persona 3 onwards, it does make sense that Personas 1 and 2 are tentatively slated to get more of a remaster treatment than outright remakes, even though I would personally enjoy seeing the first two games get remade. Head on the Block mentions that the selling point of these games are the game's new translations, which indicates to me that Atlas, rather than completely reworking fundamental aspects of these first two games to make them more in line with the social sim and social link heavy elements that were incorporated in Personas 3, 4, and 5, simply prefers to better refine and preserve the core elements of the first two games in more of a remaster treatment. Let me know how you feel about Persona 1 and 2 potentially receiving remasters over remakes in the comments below, but yeah. I do hope we get a good remake or remaster of these classic games, as their music, story, and characters are exceptional, and I hope newer fans will be more inclined to try out these games. That brings us on to Persona 4 Remake, and well, both Midori and Head on the Block make no mention of Persona 4 getting a remaster, because it absolutely doesn't need one. Persona 4 Golden was released years ago on Steam after being exclusive to the PS Vita back in 2012, and has since been brought to Xbox and PlayStation last year, and Persona 4 Golden is as complete a Persona 4 as it's going to get, so a remake in the vein of Persona 3 Reload makes more sense if they are to touch up Persona 4. In terms of other games reportedly in development, Midori mentions that a Shin Megami Tensei game is coming to Netflix, along with a title connected to Shin Megami Tensei 5, plus a remastered title. This remaster is likely to be Shin Megami Tensei Digital Devil Saga 1 and 2, since Nocturne got a remake back in 2021. So that's a ton of games that may be in development, but when should we expect to see these games? Well, it's likely that Persona 6 will launch first. Thankfully, I mean, it's about time. With both Midori and I'm a Hero 2 stating last year that Persona 6 is slated to launch in 2025 or 2026, then a Persona 1 and Persona 2 remaster may land just before or after Persona 6 and even later. As for the Persona 4 remake, I wouldn't expect that until several years down the road, as Persona 3 Reload first entered development back in 2019 and just recently released, so perhaps four plus years from now we may see the Persona 4 remake. I know, that's a lot of Persona, but you will never hear me say that's a bad thing since Atlas does a great job with these games, but let me know how you feel about all this Persona news in the comments below. Check out this video for an in-depth look at all the DLC hitting Persona 3 Reload, and I will see all you good people in the next one.